biggest study ever on the pay gap. I think it was done by Harvard. It basically looked at Uber drivers in America. The big reason it was the biggest because they had so much data. Uber obviously has so much data. They looked at the paying and they were like, well, women are getting paid less at Uber. So how does that make sense? Because it's obviously all automated. What a great way of studying male and female behavior to work out what is in this gap. And there's three things in the gap. The first was men drove at different times of night. So men would do the graveyard shifts, early mornings where you're getting paid more. They would want to do that. Women less so. The second was that men were more likely to stick with the platform for longer. So they had more experiences and they benefited from that experience. Makes sense of any job. And the third reason, which is 50% of the gap, was that men just drive faster. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just drive a little faster, guys, and then you'll close that gap. That's, that's Uber, so, so funny. That just shows it wasn't discrimination that's causing the pay gap in Uber. It was just behavior. heavy right foot. Different types of behavior. And I guess we can have a discussion of what shapes that behavior, but we need to start that conversation with it's not discrimination, at least in Uber, different types of behavior. Yeah, but when it comes to my wife, it is discrimination because when she gets a female driver, she is often tempted to reject very sexist in that way.